Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Ado I came from Abuja. I thank God for making me and my family a chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of the chosen. My testimony goes like this. When I was small, let me just brief it. Because I am a very stubborn child. But because of the way my mother brought me up. When I was small, I don't understand because she has a little problem with my daddy. And they separated. So she hates me because of that. Any little thing, she would beat me. I mean, any little thing, she would be cursing me because of my father. She maltreated me. Even when she got married, she told me never to tell people that she that she's my mother. And I accepted. Hmm. So, I grew up what? with the hatred. Then later, when I went to Lagos, I met my dad. My daddy told me to go to Lagos. Then I went to Lagos. I stayed with my daddy people. But because of the way that my mom brought me up, I was very, very stubborn. And then my daddy, he's not in Nigeria. He's, my daddy resides in Europe. Then I was very stubborn. Although my daddy, he tried his possible best to take good care of me. He sent me money every month. But I was very, very stubborn. And that seed that my mother planted in me, that he's a very bad man. I just, I took it up with my father that he's a bad man. I disobeyed him. Anything he told me, anything he told me, I disobeyed him because of that. Then later on, I just want to cut it short. Please. I went with my friends. I rented an apartment on my own. I started doing hookup. I have money. I have money. My hookup is not from from 400,000, 500,000. I took care of myself. I have money more than enough. So you started doing enough. hookup. What did you call it? You started doing what? Like I started following men. There oh. was, there was, uh, there is a Tinder, Tinder. One, uh, uh, in, inside social media. I log into that social media. So I get connected with all these big men, she is them. Anybody that call me and my friends, we are eight girls in number. They are staying in my house. So, that was so anybody like, that call me, I will go and meet the person. You give me 400,000, 500,000. So that was prostitution. Then I use the money to take care of myself. I don't even mind my daddy. I don't even mind this wealth. I don't even mind this money. Then, to my greatest surprise, one day I called my closest girlfriend. I told her that I want to buy a land. Then she agreed. The next day, she poisoned me. I did not know. Then through that poison, my stomach was swelling up like as if I was eight months pregnancy. I stayed in the hospital like one month up to no avail. I spent, very, I spent all the money I had to save myself. Then, I, unfortunately, my daddy, fortunately, my daddy called me. He told me that last three years that I should go to shoes him. But I refused. I told him that I did not like choosing. Why will you tell me to go to choosing? He asked me where I am. I told him that I am, that that time I reside at Owere. I said that I'm not going to any choosing. He gave me one pastor, Pastor Nyeka, the pastor that was that he, the pastor. He was a pastor there. I called the man. The man was like he was praying for me. I told him that this is not what I want. That I want to be healed immediately. Then later on, God heal me. God let her, God let her have mercy on me. I should have a very long stick that has stones all over the body. I said that oh God, thank you for delivering me. Then I did not let I did not change. I had an accident. Immediately I had that, that, that accident. My spirit left me. I started wandering about inside the very bush. Then God just delivered me out of that one. I woke up after three days. I met myself in a coma. Then I slept. I had a dream. I saw rapture. Rapture became, I, I saw rapture. People were flying up. But me, I was standing one place. I was crying. I said, what am I doing here? But people were flying. I saw a ladder. I kept the ladder. I was climbing the ladder. One hand just pushed the ladder down. God said that this is how it will be you if you do not change. I did not listen. I had a dream again. Heaven opened. I was seeing many old men inside heaven. But I did not, but I did not change. Then later, because of that, my dream, I saw one giant man. That person that was showing me all those things, he told me that this is devil. 
Look at how he opened his mouth and he was swallowing people. And this is how he will swallow you if you do not want to change. I was very scared. I said, okay, I will change. I will go to church. Then, last year, November, I traveled to Lagos. I said, let me go and apologize to my daddy. Let me collect my daddy's number. I went to his, my daddy uncle, my daddy brother. I took my daddy's number. Then I called him. My daddy said, I don't be going to choose him. Hmm. I told him, okay, that I will go to choose him. My daddy told me that he has a testimony here. That, that last three years that he was very sick. They carried him from Europe down to this Egyptian. That he received his deliverance in this Egyptian. That's why he's telling me to go to choose him. Hmm. I said, okay, that I will go to choose him. I told my father, the, okay, that I've heard him. Then I just deceived my girlfriends. Them. I told them that I want to go to Asaba to visit my elder brother. That I am coming. But they did not know that I've already rented an apartment in Abuja where I want to stay. I ran away from them. I broke my SIM card. I told my auntie to go and chase them away from my house and lock my room for me and pack all my load here. Yeah. Then when I came to Abuja, I started praying. I started praying to God. Then I felt sick. I started feeling sharp pain at my side here. Yeah. I went to hospital. They said that I have that I'm having kidney problem. Then I, 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 they sent me to scan. I went to scan. Every week I am on drip. Every week I'm on drugs. Every week I'm on drugs. Every week I'm on drip. Then my daddy said, I don't be going to choose him. I told him, okay, that I will go to choose him. Then I, when I went to choose him, he, he told me to collect the pastor's number that I am coming to this enemy submitted. That if I come here, that that kidney problem will be settled. Then I said, okay, that I will come. I, I pleaded with him. I told him that starting from today, I will start obeying him. Then my daddy was very happy. Then, because of the pains, I cannot endure. I cannot wait for this enemy submitted to come. I called my other brother that was staying in outside Nigeria. He told me that I should go to hospital. Then I went to FMC. Immediately, they sent me to, to emergency surgery. That they should do surgery for me immediately. Then I called my daddy that I want to do surgery. Then let them remove what is disturbing me. My daddy said that I should stand up from that bed. I should remove the drip that they put in my hand. And I will go to enemy submitted. And nothing will happen to me. Hey. Then I stood up from the bed. I went out from the hospital. The doctors are telling me, why are you going? You've done your scan. You've done your CT scan. Done lab tests, everything. Why are you going? I told the doctor. My daddy said that I should go to shoot him. The doctor said, is it when you die? I told the doctor that I will not die. I will not die. That even when I am yet sinner, that God came. That God will stood for me. That is what I said. Then the doctor said, okay, that my faith will save, will save me. Then I went to Maraba, uh, Maraba branch. At, we came here. That day, that yesterday that we are coming here, I was with my drugs. So, but I said, God, I'm not going to take these drugs. I'm tired of these drugs. Since January, every day, drugs, 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 I'm tired. I was not like this before. I want to get myself. I was prophesying to myself inside that motor. And the pain started. I said, even if you like, pay me from today to tomorrow. This was water that they said that I should be drinking. I will stop drinking hot water. I will stop taking anything that they said that I should take. Then, immediately, because my daddy told me that immediately I step my feet at that gate, that the pain will stop. And hey. immediately I set my feet at that gate, the pain disappeared. Power! Hey! Everybody, Jorogaro! God of Chose! Everybody, Jorogaro! You are full of glory. The God of Chose, you are full of glory. No doubt about it. Clap on to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Even before I came to this enemy submitted, all my neighbors in my estate, they were telling me, you said that you are going to choose him. If God of choosing cure you, we are going to serve that God of choosing. Hey. I said that I believe that God of choosing will heal me. <laughs> and my healing has started immediately. Power. I thank God the Almighty. I thank God Power. of choosing hey. for healing me. Thank I thank you. you for killing these kidney pains. 
I thank you for healing me for these kidney pains. May his name alone be highly exalted. Hmm. And I say thank you for using my daddy to deliver me. I thank him because he's a great God indeed. I want to pray for our general overseer, heaven at last, all the choosing members, choosing pastors, heaven at last, and also my daddy, heaven at last, and me myself, heaven at last. I made a covenant that if God of choosing heal me, that I will serve him till I die. Die, and I will serve this God till I die. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me ask you your testimony. Your testimony began to be very exciting to me when I discovered that you are talking about this current enemy submitted. Is that correct? Yes, sir. You are talking about what is happening now, yesterday, today. Yes, sir. You know, before I talk, you are talking about the previous enemy submitted. God of choosing is so great. Yes. And now you said all those pains disappeared as you stepped your feet into the gate. Yes, sir. That the doctors have put you on the bed. Fix gadgets to do operation. Yes, sir. And your father said, Get out of that place, remove the whatever and move away. Yes, sir. And you moved, and immediately you stepped into this place. All the problems, kidneys, pains, everything disappeared. Yes, sir. Brethren, guests, and invited. What shall we do to this God? Give him a mighty clap offering. Magnify him with your offering. Clap unto God. Appreciate him. Thank you so very much, oh God. Thank you for making us your own. For bringing down your power in our time. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. And that enemy submitted. Your own will submit to them. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah.